Hello, my name is Rodrigo Salazar. I'm a program dentist, specialist in prosthodontics, and work my master and now PhD in rehabilitation on oncological patients with Luciano Deep at Paulista University in Brazil, Rosemary Silas from University of Illinois at Chicago, USA, the Technological Center Randall Barker in Campinas, and Cicero Moraes, expert in 3D design. We have developed a Plus ID technique workflow to use 3D photography from smartphones, free software, and low-cost equipment to have a technological and affordable way of doing facial prosthesis on cancer patients. Head and neck cancer is a very big issue on public health around the world because when surgeons treat it and it is not possible to be surgically reconstructed, the original disease is transformed in another even worse disease called mutilation. Essential functions like communicating, eating, breathing, statics, and identity of the patients are lost. That is why facial prosthetics exist. However, the process of fabricating them with conventional methods have a very big learning curve and highly trained specialists that have to pass through difficulties and limitations. That is why technology have been supporting this process with very satisfactory solutions, but the near limitation was the high cost of all this equipment. Also, photogrammetry, or better known as 3D photography, have integrated solutions that when you mix all the software's hardware, annual fees, importation taxes, and training, you can pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. Those amount of money are not payable or not prior to most centers around the world, also because most of these patients unfortunately live in poverty. That is why we created and published an affordable alternative workflow. We're using free software and low-cost equipment like your smartphone and a desktop 3D printer, we demonstrate that facial rehabilitation is possible also with extreme low-cost solutions. We protocol this technique and with the use of a conventional smartphone or SLR cameras, we create 3D models of our patients. Then we digitally design prosthesis on a computer on free software. And finally, we 3D print prototypes that allow us to finish this prosthesis manually with much less effort and even better quality than an artistic hand. Our work gained the attention of the academics and the media. Now it has been translated by the press into dozens of languages from 37 countries. Also, due to our scientific partnerships, there are seven countries that are using this method into their clinical protocols of tension, and they help us with the continuous improvement of the workflow. We all look forward to someday 3D print the final color prosthesis, and now we're getting even closer than ever. Thank you very much from all the team for your attention and have a nice day.